Okay, Dharma, let's proceed ahead with your uh, technical snap for DRDO interview, okay. that is B for strength of material. So first okay. I want you to explain us the meaning of strength, Dharma. Sir, uh, strength, it is a property of a material. So for example, uh, if you are applying any tangible force on your body, so we will consider the tangible strength of that particular material to design it for, the, for that, for that uh, lo given loading. Similarly, for crushing strength, so uh, based on the type of loading, you will take the corresponding strength to design for that material for, for that load. Mm. So, what kind of strength do you calculate from uh, stress chain diagram? Uh, from strength, stress strain diagram, we can calculate the yield strength, ultimate tangible strength, and fracture strength. So, these are the three strengths we can obtain from stress strain diagram. Mm. And which one is the design strength? Sir, uh, design strength is the yield strength. Sir. Mm. So we are taking yield strength as our design strength. And how do you define the failure point on stress strain diagram? Uh, failure means uh, if your body having excessive deformation, so we can say that the body has failed. Sir. Mm. You know, there is a, a, a strain hardening region. You are aware about that? Yes, sir. Why it is called strain hardening region? Actually, uh, in strain, strain hardening is one of the strengthening mechanisms of the material. Actually, in which uh, we apply, we, we will deform the material by applying some mechanical forces. So, due to that, uh, dislocations, uh, dislocations are uh, generated, and these dislocations are uh, accumulated at the grain boundaries and results in uh, dislocation forest. So, the further movement of this dislocation forest is very difficult. So, that is why the material offers more and more resistance uh, against the loads. Hmm. Okay, Dharma, now uh, strain hardening region may if I unload the body and again draw the stress strain diagram, okay, what will happen? Sir, uh, that means uh, what is uh, like uh, sir, uh, the if previously I, loaded I point? Unload the body in strain hardening region yes, sir. and again draw stress strain diagram, then what is going to happen? What is going to happen means so, so it will not be like the uh, like uh, it, it will not be like the parent material stress strain diagram, sir. It will be some different than the original stress strain diagram. Okay, what will be the modulus of velocity of new uh, diagram? Modulus of velocity. You know modulus of velocity, how do you calculate it from stress strain diagram? Yes, sir. Actually it is a slope of the stress strain uh, curve with the modulus of uh, Modulus of elasticity. Mm. So, how that will change? Sir, I think it will definitely going to increase because uh, the resistance against the deformation uh, will increase sir, because as the strength increases and increases. Mm. Okay, what do you understand by uh, this? Uh, you know, uh, resilience and toughness of the material. Yes, sir. Actually, resilience and toughness both are uh, uh, both are denoting strain energy. Mm. Whereas resilience is the strain energy stored within the elastic limit, whereas uh, toughness is the strain energy, the maximum strain energy that a material can absorb before the failure. Mm. Okay, Dharma. Now, uh, if I ask you about uh, theories of failure, what is the significance of theories of failure? Sir, uh, Sir, a theories of failure will tell us how the material is going to fail uh, under the biaxial and triaxial loading conditions. And also, uh, the theories of failure uh, will relate the stresses that the material is uh, going to experience with the, their strength so, to find out the dimensions of that particular body uh, material. Mm. Why do we need so many theories of failure? Sir, because uh, we have uh, uh, different types of materials, like we have ductile materials and for brittle materials. So, since the ductile materials are weak in shear, uh, so we are using the truss cast or one mass theory, whereas brittle materials are uh, weak, in shear, weak in tension, so we are using the maximum armor stress theory. Yeah. Mm, but why do we need, uh, you know, this? Uh, which theories do you use for ductile materials? Uh, 
ductile materials conserve uh, to the trust the user but uh, wall matches gives the more accurate results than the trust curve hmm. okay dharma uh, tell me uh, this ductile material normally fail at which plane <coughs> actually ductile materials are weak in shear so actually if you load the, uh, the ductile materials then it will fail at an angle of 45 degrees sir mm. you know what is moment of inertia ha ah, yes sir how shall you actually, define moment of inertia to someone actually moment of inertia it is like a mass in linear uh, motion sir actually it will also moment of inertia is also resistance against the change in position but it is in rotation sir So okay. moment of inertia. Is... Okay. So moment of inertia, you know, what is the significance of that? Why do we use moment of inertia? Sir, uh, for a uh, like for a section, if moment of inertia is more, that that means that uh, it is having more. Uh, uh, means, uh, it is having more strength in bending. Like for example, uh, if you see the sir uh, railway tracks, so those are made up of uh, I section. because mm. i section has a because i section has more strength in against bending so that is why we are using i section for that uh, railway track mm-hmm. so if it has more strength means it can resist more bending moment mm. what is the section modulus uh, section modulus uh, it is the ratio of moment of inertia to the the distance of the outermost fiber from the neutral axis okay okay dharma can you tell me what is polar section modulus Uh, polar section modulus. Uh, it is the ratio of polar moment of inertia to the radius of the shaft. Okay. Okay. And uh, if uh, we want to increase polar section modulus, what should be done? Sir, uh, uh, sir, we can increase the polar section modulus uh, by removing by, by removing the material at the center, and we can add those material the outer radius. so that means by using the hollow cross section we can increase the polar moment of inertia of a particular section okay okay dharma let me give you the feedback now see uh, you have gone through strength of material i must say that you have revised strength of material today yes, only i asked yes, basics of strength of material right yes, except yes, that question of you know strain hardening region and un- unloading and then modulus of elasticity how that will change so when you yes, unload from plastic deformation then modulus of elasticity increases it becomes more hardened and strong material right yes yes sir so that all the questions were basic questions only so uh, your basic you have answered marathon please revise again and uh, then uh, next uh, level of uh, discussion and uh, technical scenario will be higher degree of difficulty right your date has come for interview no sir it is not yet announced so go with me vishal sir and gorav sir for drd huh? keep doing the snaps okay, that will help you to practice right and don't okay. answer if you're not clear think and then answer yes sir okay, okay.